Hey guys, it's me Evelyn here on Ironic X Loser, and today I'm going to show you guys how I make um, multiple GIFs at once in the sense in Photoshop and how to upload them. Not really how to upload them on Temple, but how to save them and individual images. Um, this is what I just did as I was testing my uh, tutorial. Um, my audio kept lagging, so if my audio is a bit off, I'm so sorry. I hope you guys can understand. I just don't understand why my audio is off as of all of a sudden. But yeah, so as you can see, they're just four um, GIFs, but the way I make them in Photoshop, I make them as kind of like one. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Um, I have four uh, gifts already open. This is um, Beth or Emily Kinney from The Walking Dead um, in the episode Coda. And here's my blank canvas. So when you get your blank canvas, you want to make sure that Create Frame, frame Animations on. And you go to your Crop Tool and click Slice Tool. We're going to right click on our blank image and click divide slices. We're going to divide two horizontally and two vertically and we're going to get four different boxes here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Our GIFs have already been made. They're twenty about hopefully 23 frames each. Um, yep. And they're in their own individual area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just uh, group our layers. So we're going to click frame one, scroll up, hold shift and click frame 23. And then you're going to go ahead and on your keyboard and press Control G to group, and we're going to double click and name it 01. We're going to go ahead and do the same to the rest of the frames. Zero 04, like so. So once you have that done, we're going to go back to our first frame, our first GIF set. We're going to go into our timeline and select all the GIFs. So you're going to click or all the lay, all the frames. So you're going to click the first one, scroll to the end, holding shift, click the last one, go to your drop down menu and click copy frames. And once those are copied, you go to your blank document here, drop down menu, paste frames. You're going to go ahead into your, op you're going to get a little window opened up, you're gonna, it's going to say paste frames, you're going to go to your paste method and we're going to click paste over selection. This is going to paste over the image without deleting anything and it's going to be in the first up left corner. We're going to repeat the process, going to our second one, we're going to copy all our frames, go ahead and copy frames, go to the drop down menu, make sure that your timeline frames are selected as well on your blank document, just for safety, and click paste frames. We're going to click paste over selection again and click OK. Make sure that your thumbnail or your group of the second uh, gift set is selected and just use your move tool and shift it over, like so. We're going to go to number three. And we're going to copy the or highlight the frames in the timeline, copy them, go back to our uh, blank document, and paste frames, paste over selection, click OK, and make sure lay, uh, group 3 is selected and drag it down, like so. And then for the last one, select all of them, go up, copy frames, and paste frames, paste over selection selected. Group 4 is selected and move it to the corner. Now what we have here, we have this all done. We're going to make sure that all our frames are selected. We're going to set our time delay to other and we're going to put 0 0.20 seconds. We're going to click once and change it to forever and press play. And this is how it plays out. Like so. Very simple. Next we're going to go ahead and add a coloring. I'm going to go into my brow, into my um bridge and I have a coloring for this one here so I'm just going to go into my TV colorings and let that load and I'm going to go into my Walking Dead folder and into my PSD colorings and this is the one I have here. I'm just going to click and drag it into Photoshop like so. Let it load. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that um, all, that the last uh, group in my layers is selected, which is group 4, and that frame 1 is selected in my timeline. Then I'm just simply going to go ahead and drag my group over and bring it on top. And as you can see, it plays nicely. Now, the bottom one has a bit of more of a yellow stain on it than the upper one, which is fine. You can fix it by going ahead and just going to... Um, a selective color and maybe going to yellows and probably bringing in the whites in just a little bit to smooth it out and then you can just simply sim highlight the bottom bits and fill that group with black or 
the top bits I mean so we go select the inverse and fill that bit with black so it kind of matches it's really up to you my coloring I like it so we're gonna leave it at that now it's time to save it for the um, internet Usually when you make GIFs, you have to go to each GIFT like you have opened in each tab and go to Win or go to File, Save for Web, and so on and so forth for each one. And then repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And let's say you have 10 GIFs if you're a GIFT, if you make GIFs for Tumblr and you have like 10 GIFs open, it's going to be a bit tedious. So with my way, I like to have it like this. We have our slices open. We have all our GIFs in play. They play seamlessly. No glitches. Coloring's on it. Everything looks nice. Time to save. So we're going to go to File. We're going to go Save for Web. We're going to let that load. And you're going to go ahead and do your um, adjustments. Mine's are at 4, 430K for that one, 500 for that one, 500 for that one, 500 for that one. So they're not very big files. They'll play seamlessly on Tumblr. So we're going to go ahead and as you see, once highlighted but the rest are a bit muted out, you want to hold shift and click them like so. So that they're all selected. Now if you have a file folder where you want to save them at, um, you can go ahead and save them. I'm just going to save them in my desktop in my images folder and I already have one here. So I'm going to rename this file and name it be good like so. And then we can go ahead and save these. So we're going to go ahead and re-highlight those again and click save. When you save them, it's going to automatically create its own folder for that GIF set and it's going to name it images. So that's why I renamed my file Be Good. And you're just going to go ahead and leave it as whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as untitled 1 because it's just going to give 01 dash a number and click save. And what it's going to do is going to save all your GIFs at once. If you go into your file folder, you're going to see your images are open and you're going to have all four GIFs saved individually. Now to test it out and see how they look on Tumblr. I'm going to go ahead and go to file folder, click upload, and you're going to go ahead and upload your images one by one. Or you can upload them all together like so. Um, so you're going to click that one. I'm going to bring this one to the side here and bring that one to the side there. And this is how they look. Play nice and seamlessly. And Tumblr, you go ahead and give it a name or whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and just give it some tags. So. and so on and so forth and you can just go ahead and save it and you're done i hope you guys like this tutorial hope it's simple and easy i hope you guys fully understood what i was saying if you guys don't go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below and i will do my best to help you guys um, achieve a cool way of learning how to do this um so yeah comment like the video subscribe leave me comments on tutorials or future tutorials you guys want to see and i hope to have more for you guys soon bye guys